Hello, art friends. Hello, art friends. This is very, very special video. Why did I do that? This is a very special video because, as you may have seen in the previous video that we'll put in cards or something somewhere, Steph recently made her own Procreate brush pack just for me. Well, and patrons as well, but <laughs> just for me. It was made just for you, and then I was like, I might as well put this on Patreon as well. Yeah! <laughs> now, the thing is, right, is, um, what, what I was thinking is what I'll do is I'll go through each brush first to show you the brushes that she's made because she's made quite a few. Look at all the, look at all the the, she made all of these, isn't that crazy? I'll I show you them all. Just so you know, there's like two in that folder at the bottom which are like those oh, the honey the ones. Yeah. Oh, you've named honey them, you're cool. And the grid one are from like other That's fine. brush sets. But the other ones, I've named them all as like Steffa brush or like Steffa torn or something, so you'll know it's mine. <laughs> so I was thinking, well, I obviously use them today in a video, but before I do, I'll show you what each one does. And then uh, hopefully we'll make something cute Yeah, because this is going to be like your first time properly playing around with Yeah, them. this is first impressions. I haven't used these at all. This is like first time. I've been very excited to try these. I've been excited to watch you use them. Also, oh, this is a stipple brush. Now, you might not see, but if I come in, can you see those like little dots? Look at that. Can you see that? Oh, that's I really like that, honey. That's a stippling brush. Which I don't really use stippling, but we can give it a go. Oh my god, this is a favourite. This is Steph's dot to dot brush. Oh, I love the dot to dot brush. If I've you, been using uh, that a lot. <laughs> if you want to make dot to dots, Steph's got your cover, guys. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god, I didn't realise you could do it with that. Where if you hold it, <gasps> right angles. Right, next one. Stephatone, Steph Tone Speckle. Okay, let's get it nice and close so you can see. Oh my gosh! This one's a very faint one. There we go. We can we can see him. He's very shy. So it's a very very. Li I like that though. You guys know, and Steph knows that I like to color in watercolor very very fine. Look at that when I zip it. It's gone. Oh my god! <laughs> what? It's so fine. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, Steph dots. Now we're getting into. Yeah, here we go. Now we're getting into the sort of uh, traditional screen tony kind yeah, of look. These ones are the more sort of screen tone. Then. It's so satisfying to just like. It's like you're. It's not like you're putting it down. It's like you're erasing the white and like the screen tones appearing. It's just very satisfying to watch it like appear. I'm excited to watch you use it because if there's any mm. sort of like uh, tweaks that you feel like need making to it, let me know. Oh, honey. And I... we might be able to make some live. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you think I'm going to really step on perfection? Oh, look at that. So that's like an inverse of this one, kind of. Oh, polka dot, okay. Yeah, this is like another one. It's kind of like those things. I don't know if you guys remember, like. Can you guys remember when you'd get like scratch art and you'd like scratch it away and it'd like reveal it? That's oh, like what... the rainbow art underneath. Yeah, yeah, that, that's it. That's what this feels like. It feels like I'm like scratching the white of the canvas like away and it's like revealing the uh, the dots. Maybe it's just like a procreate thing. Maybe it's just messing with me, but I love that one. Look at that. Can you believe I'm swatching? But because it's for Steph, you know. Oh, this is your grid one. I remember this one. Let me get in close so you guys can look at this one. Oh. I've been using that one a lot. It takes me back. Do you remember like when you used to use this in maths? Hold on, I'm, I'm getting distracted. And you'd have to do like little bar charts. <laughs> oh <my laughs> like <God. this. laughs> Like that. I'm so brush. glad you've made a brush pack that makes drawing graphs and bar <laughs> charts easy. <laughs> Sorry, that's the thing that I, when I first saw that one, I was like, oh my god, yes, graph paper. And you've got your little smaller, your smaller squares there too, which I really like. Oh, this is your layering one that you told me about. Yeah, I built this one for you. Because you can just keep, you see how, it's getting a bit close, there you go. You can just build it up, like layer it and layer it and layer it until it goes completely dark, or I guess whatever colour you want it to be, but... That's really cool, because that can create the illusion of kind of like a hole almost. And you can also use these as like erasers as well. Yeah. You set the brushes in there, and then you can get like some sort of gradient effects with it and stuff. Yeah, so let's go in here with a layering brush. See? <gasps> kind of looks like an eye now, doesn't it? Look at that. And see, if we layer it and layer it, we again do the same thing, but we're erasing it now. That's awesome. Oh my god. 
This is the only time I've enjoyed swatching ever, honey. And then we've got your, oh no, that's your layering brush that we've just done. We've got the dark one, which is very dark. It almost, it makes like in person, it almost makes one of those like optical illusions. Yeah, it kind of makes like a checkered kind like of. Like a check, oh, can you, oh there we go, can you see it like there? Oh, this was the one that reminded me of pinstripe trousers. Yes. <laughs> Doesn't this give you like the pinstripe trouser vibe? Like I've worn pinstripe trousers before, and it's well, just free like to those. Use that is like a pinstripe. Pinstripe. <laughs> we could give them a pinstripe white shirt and pinstripe trousers. Look at we're brainstorming now. This is great. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, and this was like the one that we could make like tartan pattern because Steph taught me that if you like rotate the canvas. There we go. Yeah, there we go. You can make like uh, a tartany pattern. Like that, isn't that sweet? Let me zoom in so you can see that. Isn't that sweet? But those are all of Steph's brushes that she's made for me. So now, and it, oh, look at that. Mm. Look at look at these horrible anesthetic swatches featuring like bar charts and stuff. <laughs> but now I need to draw something and then use these to, uh, well, I say color it in, but you know, use like screen tone and stuff. And I'll try my best to make it look as, I guess, traditional as, uh, as possible. I've tried to set it up as best as I can, guys. So I, Sketch well as you guys know I sketch pretty <laughs> Pretty dang heavy um, traditionally right um, traditionally. I'm I'm I think I'm so scared of like breaking Like obviously this is an iPad or a drawing tablet or whatever you want to use I I'm so scared of breaking it I, I draw very lightly with these because uh, as you know as you probably know a lot of tablets pr uh, pr promote what am I about um, support like pressure sensitivity like if you press see like if you press down you get like really hard lines and stuff me no i'm terrified i'm scared i'm gonna break it especially because this is steph's ipad this isn't mine <laughs> yeah i've got the smaller ipad so it fits on screen a bit nicer so yeah that's why we've gone for this one you get like the nice aesthetic like Adam it's all has in got these brushes on his ipad i do i do this is a really big ipad B big ipad for big boys like me i'm gonna sketch it in you guys know the drill i'm gonna like Make like a rough sketch first, I think, and then maybe go over it a little bit more or make it a little bit more tidy. And then we get to have the star of the show. <laughs> Look at this, she's like blush. I can feel the heat coming <laughs> coming from her red cheeks. She's blushing so much. Oh, it just means so much to me that you're using What are you these? talking about? It means so much to me. Like, guys, isn't that like one of the most like romantic gestures like ever? Oh my gosh, this is definitely going in romantic. <gasps> it is. <laughs> no, no, I, I am fully on board because like no one's ever like done something like that for me before. Like, I'm someone who very much, you know, like with pre with presents and stuff. I love it when people like make. Well, I like to give people stuff that they can use that like it's useful to them or they've made it for them or something like that, right? And Steph's literally made me something for this, which you know I don't think Procreate's going anywhere. Like this will like last forever, you know? And I'm like, oh, it's so sweet of you. Oh. There were a few people as well asking um, because uh, Clip Studio, which you use on the computer, has a lot of like. It, screen to it does have a lot built in, yes. Which is why Adam tends to draw on the computer quite a lot and he doesn't really draw on like his iPad because on his iPad he's only got Procreate. That's correct. And I saw a few people saying, no, you can get Clip Studio for the iPad. Which is which true, yes, that's it's right. It's true, but it's on a subscription service whereas Procreate you can only, well, Procreate you can buy it as like a one-off like $10 purchase or something. Yes, that's that. You're, I, I'm a fan of, uh, for those of you that come to the streams or know, I'm a fan of software stuff that you only have to buy once. Yes. <laughs> like uh, Photoshop and how they're like, oh, you have to rent. Photoshop used to used to just pay for it once. It cost a fortune. But you only had to pay for it once and that was it. And that was wonderful. But like now it's like, oh. Yeah, it scares me now with sort of like subscription kind of things that eventually i might get to the point where i've actually bought the product and i'm still paying more for it well that's why the companies do it oh god we sound like a pair of old farts don't we? <laughs> back in back in my day when i used to own my own software but i don't understand why does clip studio have to be a subscription thing on the ipad but then it's just like a one-off purchase on the computer uh, pff, i don't know clip are you, are you listening are you out there? <laughs> Probably not. We're getting there. We're getting there. I wanted to give them like a really big like, big like, almost like too big shirt. Like, 
She's going to work and she's like, silly me, I've put on your shirt, lol, oh you. One inking montage later, I have, <laughs> I have come up with this. Um, hopefully I have spliced in uh, the Procreate footage showing you me actually draw this. That would be great. Um, if I haven't, I'm sorry, but... <laughs> I've been very busy brushing my scruffle of... Oh my god. <laughs> Look how nice the brush is like. It's looking great, hun. Thank you. But now the moment of... Busy. <laughs> the moment of truth has come because now we get to use... What this queen? The Steph Toms. Yeah, what this queen of screen tone has created for us. So, I forgot to let's give it a go. Well, that the reason that I wanted to make these for him is because, as you know, Adam is colorblind. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> yeah. Who would who would have thunk it? Eh? I feel like in every video, I've just got to remind everybody that you're colorblind. I think in every video, you enjoy reminding everyone. <laughs> <laughs> to, be, to be honest with you, I think you enjoy it. Hang okay, on, so let's put some on the eyes. You see that? That's starting to look kind of manga and comic-y already. Maybe some in the mouth. Just a... Oh, oh dear. That's a bit of a dark mouth. I might have to clean that. Looks like she's been drinking ink. Oh my god. How does it look? It's a little bit too dark, isn't it? Dots, the traditional looking dot one. Let's give that a go. Oh gosh, that's very big. Let's make it make it tiny. Oh, I see what it's <laughs> Okay, let's use the layering one and just do it lightly, yeah? That's okay. It takes a while to get to grips with new brushes. It does? There we go. Yeah, there we go, that's working. Yeah, that's looking good. <clears throat> Yeah, we like that. I really like this brush, so I might use it for the uh, for the clothing as well. So let's make a new layer. I'm so excited to do the pinstripes. Have you noticed I've left them completely blank because I'm gonna pinstripe it. Pinstripe shots. <laughs> <laughs> but we can use some of this. Uh, oh no, let me use the dot one for this one. Um, Steph dots. Yeah, let's use this one and make the brush a little bit bigger. Yeah, yeah, this will be a good one, I think. If we turn the opacity down. Because the cool thing about this that you can't really do with traditional screen tone is you can just like block it in and then pick bits out, which is really good. <laughs> like, uh, well, well, I say that you can do that with traditional screen tone, but it's a, it's a lot harder. It's a bit more risky. So, but with this, we can just go boop, 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 boop. We can just block it in however we dang well please, which I really like. And then, yeah, let's use the studio pen, because this will, like, emulate, hopefully, us cutting it out. Like, cutting out edges and stuff, which is really cool, so. We cut out of it there, because she's kind of, this character, she's kind of bent over a little bit, so the tummy is going to be uh, dark, obviously, in the middle. There we go. A raise around the hand. I do kind of like it there already, so. Let me pick out that bit there and this bit here. Like that. Maybe do some under the chin as well, I think. Because I think it'd cast a shadow under a chin. Feel free to let me know as well if at any point you feel like you need some with like smaller dots or like bigger dots or like different patterns. Oh, like smaller know. dots and stuff is always good. Like, I'll always like be like, oh yeah, just, just give me all of them. <laughs> If you make another set, hun, I will gladly give oh, that I'll one a go as well. Yeah. For you, as long as they're helpful. Oh my god! Of course they are. I wouldn't have created this masterpiece if it wasn't for you. Was it the diagonal one? There was the. No, it's not that one. Where's my pinstripe one? Is it the dark one? Oh, it's gonna look so good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try it like this. I like this. We'll reduce the opacity now, and we'll uh, erase around it like so. And then hopefully, 
I just love the fact that it's like gonna be pinstripes. <laughs> as soon as soon as I saw this brush, I was like, I know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> That's when you know you've made something truly inspirational, hun. But inspired trousers that you would have drawn. No no no. At first sight, you're like I know exactly what to do <laughs> with this. That's when you know you've made something good. Oh my god, that looks amazing! Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> I'm so easily pleased. I love that. Oh my god, that's amazing. Right, let me turn the. Uh, oh, the it's making on, me right? happy seeing you enjoying oh, these brushes. Oh, you make me very happy, my I've dear. I've been wanting him to properly like play around with them, but he was like, "No, I feel like I should save it for like a video." And I was like, "Yeah." Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we can do like a little hair highlight with this one. Right? If we go like this, and then I assume this has got airbrushes. Yes. Oh, I do like a good airbrush. It's very soft. And then we can just melt it away and make it look all shiny. Oh, it's interesting seeing how you do things. He well, uses like different brushes and approaches to things than how I would. And because of the nature of like Doodle Day, I don't really get to do digital stuff yeah, that's very what I was much, thinking. you know? This might even be one of the first proper like Doodle Dates that's doing like digital so It's a 3D, a, a digital Doodle Day. I mean, oh my god. Granted, there has been like a few live streams, I think, where you drew on like the iPad. Yes, that's true. Yeah, but a, but a first like I guess official like video. Yeah. Video, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it's so cool. These brushes. I, I mean, I'm gonna sound so biased now, aren't I? These are like the best screen tone brushes I've ever used, and that's not You're me. Not just that's not me that. just being like, oh, on Patreon and Gum Road, by the way. It's like um. They legit are, like, it's really fun. It's, the way you've done it really emulates very well. In my opinion, uh, it emulates real screen tone very well. A lot better than other ones that I've tried. Well, I've tried to make it um, as similar as like how I know that you use brushes. So I've like tweaked them in a lot of ways that I know that I've seen you use other ones where you've bumped into issues and I've been like, okay, if I fine tuned it like this, he's not going to bump into the issue of this. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Like, for example, um, some other brushes you have issues with um, every time, like, you take the pen up and then you go back down again, it can, like, overlap the screen oh, tone and get that. really messy. Mm. So that's why I've made it so that it'll always just sort of stick to, like, one place unless, like, you tilt it the other way. Thank you for making screen tones that even... <laughs> Heavy-handed idiots like me, oh, you're not <laughs> like me can use. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have her saying, let's have her saying something. Let's use. I don't want to. I don't want to like spoil too much. I'll use the wax quay on one because you've already shown that before. <laughs> yeah, that one I haven't uh, launched officially yet, but there's oh, a few in there as well um, in the Steffa brush section that I've been playing around with the not like officially released ones but feel free to play around with those as well if you yeah, she's so mad she's like I love these I I love I'm so angry I love these <laughs> <laughs> oh my god hun please make more brush packs for me to make videos with I love this look at that there we go and if you guys have enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe so we can see you next time for another Doodle Day. Doodle Day! Bye now, guys! Bye bye!